This video rather came late, but thanks for your patience. If you are new to Google Ads, formerly known as AdWords, it is the only legit way within the Google ecosystem that you can promote your business and YouTube videos. This video is intended to put you through the basics with fewer technicalities. I will show you how you can promote your YouTube videos to a wider audience with Google Ads, thereby earning more views and subscribers and also accelerate your monetization process that is if your channel is yet to be monetized so if you are new here and you love this type of content consider subscribing and if you are returning thanks so much for coming back i will focus on how to promote a youtube video within the youtube ecosystem with google ads then i will upload a separate video that will focus on website promotion so turn on your notification so that you'll be notified when I upload the video. So with all that said, let's promote a YouTube video with Google Ads. To start, I will log in to Google Ads account by going to ads.google.com. This is an account I created in a previous video. You can check the video's link in the description to know how to create a Google Ads account. So the first thing to do is to link your YouTube channel to your Google Ads account. With this action, Google Ads will have access to your channel's metrics so that it can accurately promote your videos. So to do this, you go to settings and billings. Click on link accounts. Go to the YouTube card. Click details and add channel. Then go to your YouTube studios to copy your channel's URL. And paste it here. If the channel is yours, click I own this channel. If not, you choose the second option. Then click go to YouTube. This will take you to your channel's YouTube studio. Then enter your channel's name as the link name. You will also notice that below, you can select features you want Google Ads to access from your channel. For this tutorial, I will allow all the features and click link. Then I will go back to Google Ads and refresh the page to see my channel in the linked account list. Now that the YouTube channel is linked, you can now go back to the overview to create a new campaign. So to start a video promotion, you will need to set up a campaign, an ad group and an ad. These are the three major things you need to set up in Google Ads for you to have a successful video promotion. So the campaign is where you set up how much you want to spend for your promotion, how you want the money to be spent, how long you want your promotion to run. You can also set the location you want to target by country, state, region, county, and etc. So to create a campaign, click new campaign. Select campaign without a goal. Selecting this option will make all options available for you to use. Then you click video because you want to promote a video. After that, choose custom video campaign and click continue so on this page you will set up the campaign by giving it a name the bidding strategy will be cpv that is cost per view which means that you only pay when user click and watch your promoted video then in the budget and date i will enter a budget of three dollars which will run for two weeks from now Under network, choose only YouTube videos so that the video that you will be promoting will be displayed only on YouTube and not outside YouTube. Under location, I will target an audience in Nigeria, which is my main focus in this tutorial. You can choose the preferred location you want to target. You can drill it down from country down to county or local government areas. Choose your preferred language here. I will choose the English language. In the inventory type, 
I will choose the expanded inventory. This will allow your videos to show up to a wider audience, notwithstanding the sensitivity of the content of the video they are watching. And we also reduce your cost. Then in excluded types and labels, I will exclude embedded YouTube videos and live stream videos so that the promoted videos will not show up on the embedded platforms like website outside YouTube. Also uncheck content not yet labeled. This will enable your video to appear on videos not yet labeled, like newly uploaded videos on YouTube. In additional settings, go to devices and uncheck TV screens because most people that watch YouTube videos from TVs hardly subscribe to channels. So for this campaign, I will not target them. Now in frequency capping, I will set the view frequency to one per day. Meaning that if a user watches this video, the video will not appear to them until the next day. This will reduce your cost. So you don't have to pay multiple times to show your video to a single person in a day. Then I will leave the ad schedule on all day. Now we are in the second phase that is creating an ad group. Setting up an ad group properly will make your promotion perform like the YouTube algorithm. So here you give it a name. Then under the demographics, I will uncheck these options because I want to target a younger audience. So the audience keywords and placement, I will leave them empty for this tutorial. In the bidding section, enter the maximum amount you want to pay for a view. I will enter two cents here. This does not mean that each view I get will cost me two cents, but this is the maximum I might be charged if other advertisers are bidding for less. Now it's time to create the video ad by pasting your YouTube video URL here. So go to your YouTube studio, copy your video's URL link and paste it here. The thumbnail and the title will appear then you select the video discovery option. The reason for choosing this option is to mimic YouTube suggesting this video. So your video will not bump into people's videos like the skippable ads, but it will appear alongside or after other videos. This strategy makes the video promotion appear organic. The difference here is that the skippable campaign format will only give you more views and less engagement. But using the discovery ad format will give you fewer but quality views, meaning that people watching your videos are taking action to watch it and might finally watch your video longer and eventually subscribe. Then give the ad a title and description. And on the right side of the screen, you will see the weekly estimates of your promotion in terms of views and impression. Finally, give the ad a name and click create campaign. You can review your campaign settings and make changes if need be. If not, click continue to campaign. This will take you to the ad groups list and you can check the status of your ads by clicking on the ad group. In the status column, it is showing pending under review. Your ads will remain pending until it is approved. It might take up to 48 hours to get a response. And if it is approved, your video will be suggested to a wider audience based on the settings you have applied. You can create more than one ad group in a campaign and you can also create more than one video ad in an ad group. In subsequent videos, I'll be sharing topics that relate to Google Ads and Google AdSense. So I would like you to share your thoughts in the comment section, how you feel about Google Ads or how you intend to implement Google Ads on your channel. So if this video was helpful, please give it a like and also share with others. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.